Hi, this is Hutch. PSVR was launched in Japan in October, and it's already making a big hit. This time, I look into 5 PSVR compatible games on how popular they are in Japan and people's response to their impression. Number 5. Summer Lesson. One of the most famous from the last year. In the game, players interact with a schoolgirl as a home tutor and help her get better grades by giving her lectures. This game has drawn much attention since the last year, and people saw it as one of the must-buy for PSVR. Actually, I found a note that some folks decided to buy PSVR to play this game, and as expected from its reputation, the release of the game made huge impact. Although I have not played this game, some review comments are found on some reviews online. Among number of review comments, some interesting comment attracted my attention. For example, one said that game part itself is not what makes players crazy. Some players mentioned VR experience itself was what really fascinated players, by making them feel as if they were in the real anime world. From such comments, I found one of the hidden aspects of this game. I think this is one of the open gates for new VR world. I mean, this game is trying to not only provide sensational dating sim to gamers, but also show some potential which VR games will give us. From the latter aspect, this game seems appreciated as a good concept model and made a triumph. Number 4. Gran Turismo Sport This game also caught my attention. Recently, we had one good and one bad news. The former being that the latest of the long-running racing game franchise would be adopted in PSVR, and the latter being that the release would be delayed. Before the VR adaptation news, some negative comments claiming they didn't get much color in the game or the franchise has nothing novel anymore. However, the news of VR adaptation successfully caught much attention despite these reputations. This high-end racing game may have potential to evolve itself if people find this new VR racing experience interesting. I think we should keep an eye on it. Number 3. Resident Evil 7 It was announced that Resident Evil well-known and popular horror game all over the world, will be back and adopted in the VR system. Of course, it's already drawing much attention, including mine. This franchise focused much on gun action since the fourth game. In the latest one, however, riddle and exploration will be the main focus. This will remind many gamers, including me, of nostalgic first game in PS1. In exploration, players turn their own heads to look around. It may sound tiresome somehow, and actually some claims so. I guess it requires a bit more brush-ups, hopefully before the release. Nonetheless, some old-time fans welcome the comeback of the game's original style with nostalgia. The latest Resident Evil will have many faces depending on players, but those who have played since both series, the game will provide new impression, and fan gamers who have played it since the first series may be brought back to the older days. I'm confident this is one of the most awaited VR horror games. Number 4. Until Dawn. Also, I cannot miss Until Dawn. I've already mentioned that Resident Evil 7 is attracting horror game fans. They're also looking for this roller coaster high speed horror, like the recent Resident Evil series. Until Dawn is a horror shooting game, but this time, Resident Evil decided to return to its roots, resulting in them well differentiated. The most fascinating point of this VR game is the feel of roller coaster speed, which literally lets you face the fear. This feeling of immersion is what makes players crazy about this game, and as great as compared with attractions in amusement parks. Also, there are positive comments from players in its motion controllers, as Resident Evil 7 is less focused on the shooting part, Until Dawn is well taking this position and fulfill gamers' needs. Number 1. VR Kanojo The last one is VR Kanojo, the only hentai game in this video. It recently released a trial version, and people already are talking about it. The first VR-only hentai game, as the developer says, and the trial requires a HMD such as Oculus Rift or HTC Vive, so it'll cost quite a bit. Nevertheless, you'll find many articles and videos about the play impression of the trial. The trial includes three features. The first is a part of the actual game. It doesn't include hentai part, but features like movement of a point of view or interaction should give you enough clues how this game goes. The trial version also includes benchmark, with which you can see how well it runs on your PC and try different graphic settings. 
The last but not least is electric fan mode. Literally, you'll be an electric fan, which doesn't make sense, and then blow air so the hearse got flat, which quite makes sense. Personally, I'd want it in the actual game. With all these features, the trial demo already drew much attention. Release date will be late January 2017. Thanks for watching! I'm making other shows related to Japanese voice acting and gaming in general. If you find this video interesting, please subscribe my channel and explore other videos. Also, I'll be glad if you share my videos. Until next time, Hatch signing out.